In this video, we will see how we can map aspect. Aspect is nothing but the slope direction. Earlier videos, we have seen how to map slopes and different categories and then how this classification face the direction. Let us see how we can map the aspect. See what you see in this picture is a mountainous area and then you see the slope direction. The sun is this side and just it is facing on the eastern side. Wherever you see the black is a shadow area, these are the areas facing the northern side. See different slope, different types of landforms are there and then it's very interesting to see how these slopes are facing different direction. Here also this slope is facing western direction. Again this is shadow area is facing northern direction. The slope direction <coughs> can be expressed classified into 0 to 360 degrees. Unlike amount is varying from 0 to 90 degrees, here slope direction is 0 to 360 degrees. This you have to remember whenever you make a aspect map. Say for example, from 0 to 45 degree we can call north northeastern direction slope, 45 to 90 north east to east direction, again from 90 to 135 degrees east southeastern direction 135 to 180 degrees southeast to south 180 to 225 south to southwestern direction you can classify according to your requirement these are the basic thing understand the slope direction so this is the eastern slope this southern slope western slope northern slope when you make a map the output will be like this for example i have done for nilgiri district slope direction map I have classified slope into different direction that is a flat area then you got north north east east southeast south southwest west northwest so once you classify you can find out the area in each direction how much area it is covered and then what is the percentage, the total area of the basin or total percentage to the total area of the district. So this way we can just calculate the area. This is a basic thing. Let us see how we can proceed and then map aspect using QGIS. Why do we need aspect map? Aspect map shows areas of slope direction. If there is a drainage map, you can see streams flowing in different directions. In order to identify streams originating from different directions and use them for watershed management, we need aspect map. Slope direction may get rainfall in different seasons. From this, we can estimate amount of rainfall received from watershed in each direction. For example, slope facing southwest, west and west will get high rainfall during southwest monsoon slopes facing east, northeast and southeast will get more rainfall during northeast monsoon. It depends upon the geographical location from where we can study about the rainfall pattern and slope direction and the amount of water we get for streams. Now I have loaded SRTM data. As I told you, you can load SRTM data, Aster data and then IRS DEM data also you can just load it. Now I have loaded SRTM data of Nilgiri district. See if you do the entire district it will take more time in this video. So this we have experienced in a slope map. So I just reduced the area. I have chosen only Kurnu district, southeastern side of Nilgiri district. Usually when you load the SRTM data, the SRTM data will appear in grey color. This grey color can be given color. Right click it, go to properties, go to symbology, the symbology, go to 
single and single band pseudo color the color you change it invert the color the lower value has to come at high, that is a uh, 420 higher value should come for the i mean red color should come for the higher value and then classify continuous it is there more you make it equal interval you can just give 15 classes classify it say apply okay see now the gray color srtm data appears in color you can see the blue color area that is lower values are showing lower areas are showing in blue color gradually green color yellow color orange color see it is red color dot 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 area so higher elevation is shown in red color now we have to calculate different directions it's already classified we have to classify it and then you have to separate it out so you have to go to raster go to analysis select aspect once you select the aspect kono taluk srtm is loaded leave everything as it is don't touch anything simply run it your aspect map has come here it has not been this aspect map derived from srtm right click it go to properties in the symbology you go to single band pseudo color leave as it is and then only here earlier we have seen in the first introduction 0 to 45 45 to 90 90 to 35 35 to so eight classes we have given so you just go to equal interval eight classes give eight classes here apply okay now your classified map is here aspect map from the srtm data you have derived aspect map now i have to extract the slope between 45 degree 135 or 315 to 45 if i take 315 to 45 that will be a northern slope or 0 to 45 means north northeast again 45 to 90 degree whichever i want i can see now i wanted to select eastern slope that is 45 degree to 135 degree so for that you have to go to raster select the raster calculator select the aspect task come here you have to select symbol more than 45 degree because it's a northeastern direction and then again you go to aspect less than 90 so the 45 to no less than uh 135 sorry 135 135 means so this covers the exact eastern side of the slope so you have you have selected the condition this represent the eastern side of the slope eastern side of the srtm data you go to your folder give eastern slope already i have given here but you can give same i wanted to replace it so there is a eastern slope we have given it is a geotiff i am running just give okay so once you give okay it has been 
classified wherever you see the black color other direction wherever you see one two values are there one represent the eastern slope zero represent the other directions now you have to calculate the area it, it should be converted into vector format so you have to convert it raster go to conversion from polygonize so polygonize raster to vector so the eastern slope i wanted to polygonize dn value the dn value is 0 to 1 run it close it it has been vectorized now you can right click on the vectorized map it's a temporary layer see 1 1 0 0 1 is eastern slope 0 is other slope areas so two categories are there number of pixels are there that you have to merge it so there are about uh, 1029 pixels are there okay so what you should do you have to merge it before that you have to see the symbol here this is a temporary so I am making everything in temporary if you want you can give the name also you can make it permanent so now I have to classify it right click it go to property symbology symbology you go to categorized the value is dn how many divisions are there you got two classify see you got one zero one more thing you don't want this take it out apply ok now you got one all other areas are other directions now you have to find out area you go to attribute table when you see the attribute table number of pixels are there you have to merge it for which what you should do you go to processing on the top menu go to toolbox there you have to say collect geometries type collect collect geometries will come double click that one your vectorized map automatically loaded if not you have to load it then leave everything as it is run it close it now right click it go to attribute table see only one see all being merged and then only one category is there if you want to see the other one earlier one go to see number of pixels are there all being that is all one is merged and then you got only one now you have to calculate the area right click it go to attribute table make it editable add one no, one more field add column area square kilometer area in square kilometer I have given it is not integer you have to change it to decimal precision you have to give two two numbers so now you have to find out the area in square kilometer for which we are making this column the column has come now you go to field calculator update existing field you give a tick mark here select the field area in square kilometer once you do that then you have to come to come to geometry 
in the geometry you have to select dollar area see one more area is there you should not select that you have to select the dollar area double click it it will come here once you give ok it will show you in square meters we want square kilometers so you have to divide this area into square kilometer that means divide it then 1 million square meter equal to 1 square kilometer that is a conversion so I have given 1 followed by 6 zeros I am saying ok see 218.55 square kilometer so this is the area representing eastern slope so the streams are originating from this slope will give water for the streams and the rivers flowing towards east so from the area you can calculate what is the volume how much rainfall how much volume of water you are getting for that you have to find out the area now you got the area for this same way you can also calculate for 135 to 235 interval southern slope you will get it for western slope you will get it 235 to 315 degrees western slope you will get it for the northern slope 315 to 45 degrees from the raster calculator you have to give and then you have to collect four directions and then finally you have to merge it that is how you have to classify it and then merge it and then calculation we can make it see now I have made example for the eastern slope suppose you want to have a slope between 0 to 45 degree you can make it if you want to have a, sl a slope direction between 45 degree and 90 degree you can make it so a category you can make it and then you can make a, a classification find out the area finally you have to merge it this is how you have to make aspect map which is very useful for watershed management hope this video is very interesting if it is interesting for you please subscribe it press the bell share it with your friends if you have any comments you can have comments if you like it press like thank you so much